there's a certain rigidity as we are in a prophetic ministry many people they think no we cannot come up with any proposals we cannot plan anything only the Holy Spirit must tell us what to do or where to go but I want to tell you child of God that God has given us wisdom he has given us gifts he has given us the ability the ability to plan the ability to execute the plan as he begs it are you with me child of God so if we plan and we say maybe our weather is, is a challenge now let us start our service at 8 o'clock for example we pray about it and God guides us are you with me child of God we don't stop to plan and we say, oh, you speak to us. God is not one dimensional. God is multi-dimensional. How God speaks in your life. How God manifests in your life. Is not the same way every day. Are you with me, child of God? If we get too familiar we can miss the voice of God as a child of God you ought to be able to hear the voice of God you ought to be able to see the signs as God speaks are you a child of God God speaks to us God speaks to us hallelujah and he has always been speaking he is still speaking he will still speak to eternity are you the child of god but it is not for us to get familiar to say okay god will speak to us in this way if you want God to speak to you in a certain way you may miss him the Bible says the prophet was standing and he says I want to hear from you O God I want to see your face O God and there was an earthquake but God was not in the earthquake there was a fire and God was not in the fire there was a wind but God was not in the wind are you the of God there can be rain and God is not in the rain are you the of God are you the of God when we get too familiar we only think that God can only move in that way if there is no manifestation of demon we say God was not in the service that is a familiarity there is a higher level of deliverance child of God that can take place even without any manifestation God operates in his own way God chooses the way he wants to operate God chooses the way he wants to do things. Just because you didn't hear a demon crying out does not mean that deliverance did not take place. Are you a child of God? There are some of you as you leave this place you begin to enjoy miracles. You begin to enjoy testimonies. What do you think happened? deliverance took place I want to teach you today that how to capture the moment you ought to be able to capture the moment you ought to be able to capture a season I was teaching pastors and leaders 
I said, you have heard us saying it is the year of God. It is the year of God. What revelation do you have? In the year of God. You can be able to ask your father, Father, what are our expectations? What do we expect from this? What are we expecting in this year? When you know what to expect, you will know how to pray. When you know how to pray, you will know the prayer points and how and when to pray. Hallelujah. For different things, for different things in our lives, we pray differently. Prayer is not one dimensional. For different things in our lives, we pray at different times. That is why there is a push up prayer in this place. There is a reason why push up prayer is five to six and not three to four. Are you in the child of God? There is a revelation behind it. Are you a child of God? Hello? For you, you may just say, okay, there is a prayer 5 to 6. Why 5 to 6? There is a revelation behind it. When you are following a vision, respond to how God is speaking in the vision. Are you a child of God? Don't be self-righteous. Don't look at yourself as better than others. In this ministry, we, are, we fast every Friday. And we break at 3 p.m. Hallelujah. Some, they'll say, ah, no, for me, I don't need to break at 3 p.m. I'll break at 6 p.m. It is not a problem. But the issue is why are you doing that? Are you a mission of God? When you are doing it with a pure heart, it is not a problem. When you say let us fast three days, and you choose to fast seven days, when you are doing it with a pure heart, it is not a problem. But many times, we do it in order to compete with others. Our Christianity is defined by the Christianity of others. Our Christianity is supposed to be defined by the Word of God. Our Christianity is supposed to be guided by Jesus Christ. But our Christianity today is guided by our neighbor. How my neighbor does it is how I also want to do it. I want to copy or I want to be better. God speaks to you in what pertains to you, not what pertains to your neighbor. Tell it to your neighbor, say, neighbor, God speaks to me about what pertains to me. Hallelujah. Everyone has a race to run. Everyone has a race to run. Don't compare your Christianity. Do not compare your Christianity with the, that of your neighbor. Are you a child of God? There are certain things that you may do and your neighbor cannot do. There are certain things that your neighbor can do and God will forgive them that with, if you do it, Hello? Your Christianity should not be defined by the Christianity of your friends. 
But how can you know how you are supposed to move? Follow the teachings of your father. Follow the teachings in the house. As you follow the teachings in the house, God will make his word. There is a direction that God wants you to take. But until you connect, until you know that will of God for your life, until you connect to the Spirit of God operating in your life, that will of God, it will not manifest. But I come to tell you, child of God, we are in a new season, a new season of new beginnings. A new season of new beginnings. As we are in a season of new beginnings, get the revelation. Run with the vision. Run with the purpose. Run with the vision. Are you with me, child of God? Somebody say, I hear you, daddy. Somebody say, I hear you, daddy. One way of connecting with the anointing one way of connecting with God let us read 1st Thessalonians chapter 5 1st Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 may your businesses prosper in the name of Jesus your businesses prosper in the name of Jesus. Please, if you are working with me, you need to hurry up. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Hallelujah. Pray always. Pray always. Pray always. Prayer for every Christian is a must. It is not an option. Are you a minister of God? The preacher said, in the year that Uziah died, Isaiah saw God. Isaiah saw the hand of God. Are you a preacher of God? Why did Isaiah see the hand of God? Isaiah was a prophet from chapter 1. He was a prophet. But he saw God in the year that Uziah died. Are you with me, child of God? It doesn't mean God was not with him before. God was with him. Hallelujah. God was still with him. But there was something that was a challenge. But as he spent time in the place of prayer, Prayer is a necessary part in the life of a Christian. Prayer is not an option. Are you with me, child of God? Many of us who have taken prayer to be a, a hobby, a part time. But prayer must be full time. Prayer must not be an option, but it must be a necessity. The same way that you cannot go to sleep without eating sadza, or without eating. That is how prayer must be in the life of a Christian. You need food for you to survive, you need water for you to survive. You also need prayer. 
No doubt, Are you with me, child of God? When you understand that you need prayer, you will no longer be relaxed in the presence of God. You will no longer be relaxed about coming to church. You will no longer be relaxed about serving God in the house. Because there are certain things when you are when you spend time in the place of prayer. Hello. I I said it before. Do not judge your your prayer life with that of your neighbor. Because your neighbor prays five minutes and you pray seven minutes does not make you better than your neighbor. Are you with me? It does not mean you are better. Hallelujah. Because your neighbor prays 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and you pray one hour, does not make you better than your neighbor. Your Christianity is not defined by that of your neighbor. Are you miserable? As we leave this place today, let prayer become an integral part. Let it become a serious part of our life. Not an option. Say prayer is not an option. In my life, prayer is a must for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you must profound what rich period. Yes, not can also now not matter. If you don't pray. You cannot go to sleep. I've asked leaders in the meeting. Did you guys sleep when you got home? Did you guys sleep when you got home? Did you guys sleep when you got home? you must feel the period. When certain things are not in place, when you have not yet prayed, you must feel you are owing God. Are you the of God? You must feel you are owing God. Hello? When you have not yet prayed, you must feel that hunger and that thirst. You must feel you are in debt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must feel you are in debt. You must feel that I'm owing something. Say I'm owing something. If I haven't prayed, I'm owing something. After today, after today, say it after today, prayer is not an option. Prayer is a must for me. So you must feel you are in debt if you have not yet prayed. Are you the child of God? We are building a praying church. We are building a praying church. Never choose to live out prayer in your daily life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But there are challenges. There are challenges that come in our lives. And they have caused us to become too rigid as Christians. I want you to know, child of God, it does not matter where you are. The Bible says, pray always. Bible says pray always. Meaning no matter where you are, you ought to pray. Some can say, I cannot pray, I'm in the office. I cannot pray, I'm traveling, I'm on the bus. I cannot pray, I'm driving. Hallelujah you should be able to pray no matter where you are. 
get this revelation. And no matter the position, there are people who have been told that if you want to pray, you must kneel down first. It's not only when you are kneeling down that you can pray. Even while we are walking, you can be in prayer. While we are seated, you can be in prayer. I'm not saying sit down during time of intercession. Hallelujah. But I'm saying even in your house, while we are seated, you can be in prayer. In the office, you are in pr- you can be in prayer. You are in school, you can be in prayer. You are waiting for an appointment, you can be in prayer. Are you mean child of God? Are you mean child of God? So whether you are sitting down or you are lying down, you can still pray. Are you the child of God? Are you the child of God? You can still pray. Of course, like I've said, there are different kinds of prayer. There are prayers you need to be active. Hallelujah. There are prayers you need to be active. And there are prayers, yes, you can pray. At the dining table, you can pray for food before you eat. You can give thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Pray always. Pray always. Teach your children. Teach your children to pray. Even before they go to sleep, read a verse with them. Hallelujah. And pray together with them. Hallelujah. As you do so, there is a foundation that you are fixing in the life of those children. There is a foundation that you are setting in the life of those children. I, I wish I, I had people with notebooks. Because what I'm teaching here, you must go and practice it. But how are you going to remember everything if you don't write it down? Hallelujah. We've been sending teachings on WhatsApp. How many followed the audios that we, that I sent during the week? On WhatsApp. On WhatsApp. No church. Hallelujah. The only way you can grow is by feeding from the spirit of your father. Are you the child of God? Eat from the spirit of your father. Drink from the spirit of your father. When you ignore, forget about growing. Hallelujah. Your father has many breasts. Hallelujah. They are all to feed the flock. Are you the mission of God? So when the father is breastfeeding, drink from the father. Are you the mission of God? As we are teaching these things, Write down. Write down. Are you the mission of God? As you write it down and you go back home, you begin to reflect. That is how you grow. In this new, in this season of new beginning, you cannot continue doing things the same way you were doing before. You are used to prophet coming and saying, come out, come out. In this season, I am coming to teach. Are you the mission of God? Children cannot just continue taking only breast milk, breast milk, breast milk. 
There's a time that we begin to give them bones. There's a time for chewing bones. Are you the child of God? This is a time for chewing bones. This is a time for chewing bones. That is why you find that many people's faith is going to be challenged. In this season. Because there are people who just want milk, milk, milk. When you begin to give bones, they will complain, why, is, why are they giving us bones? The children of Israel were murmuring and grumbling and complaining. Moses would cry to God. Moses would pray to God. Father, your children want milk. Your children want food. God gave them bread. Your children want nyama. God gave them quails. Are you being said of God? Your children want water. God gave them water. Are you with me, child of God? In this season, don't miss the season. Say, I will not miss this season. Say, I will not miss this season. So drink from the spirit of your father. Follow these teachings. If you are going to grow, replay these teachings. We have DVDs of these teachings. Get them from your leaders. Get them from your pastors. Are you with me, child of God? And begin to play them in your car. In my car, I play MDMI music, MDMI CDs. Are you with me, child of God? That is the music I listen to. These messages, we listen to them every day. Every week, there are messages that are sent on to the WhatsApp groups from different pastors in MDMI. Follow those teachings. Follow the teachings of your father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I hear you, daddy. Somebody say, I hear you, daddy. Prayer brings revelation. As you connect to God, as you are connected, it will bring revelation. And when you get revelation, it makes things to happen. Are you mission of God? There are many times in MDMI that the pastors they recommend people. They say, Daddy, we want this one to become a leader. My answer is one. Okay, I'll pray about this. Okay, in church no matter. I use mission of God. And I go into the place of prayer. I go into my secret place. Hallelujah. And I begin to pray. I say, Lord. Francis Machisa. Francis Machisa. Francis Machisa. Francis Machisa. Mandichi Sunga. Mandichi Sunga. Hallelujah. George Mwapenya. George Mwapenya. Hallelujah. I, I just mentioned names. Nango Tawara Masita. I mentioned names. The Tawara Masita. I mentioned names. Nango Tawara Masita. And I say, Lord. Nango Tawara. Reveal yourself. What are you saying? This is the recommendation from the leaders. Hallelujah. Sometimes you begin to see someone. They, their service, the way they serve, it changes. You see excellence in the way they serve. Are you child of God? Just after that kind of prayer, you see, begin to see someone. They are now coming on time to church. They are now doing things well in church. They are now doing well in everything. Hallelujah. And God says, I have confirmed. Or you may see someone no longer coming to church. 
Hallelujah. You ask them, why are you not in church? Oh, I say in church. I have a problem. They said from another prophet. Hallelujah. Mary, what is this? When I say God, what is this? God says, I have spoken. I have spoken. Hallelujah. There are people who are in your life today who have come close to you in your life today because you haven't prayed. Ah. Are you a preacher of God? There are people who are a part of your life today because you have not yet prayed. When you pray, those people will just vanish. You will not know how they will left you. People whom you thought were with you, people whom you were feeding, you see them coming, throwing mararas of Ajka for Uri. So I'm going to go to Ajka. I know you can't have mararas for Uri. You think you are giving them to eat, they come and throw them back to you. Those later Mugain on the moon. That is what happens to a person called a person. Kanawana Mat. When you pray. Are you the preacher of God? The true characters of people. They will manifest. The true characters of people, they will manifest if you pray. There are people who are around you. God is saying, I want you to know who they are. I want you to know what is in their hearts. Because what is in their hearts is nothing to do with where you are going. There are people who come into your life for a reason. There are people who come into your life for a season. And there are people who will come into your life forever. When you go into the place of prayer, you will be able to know who is who. Are you with me, child of God? I will teach you one of the days how to know who is who. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How to know who is who. And I'll teach you how to pray for people to begin to manifest their true self. Hallelujah. So prayer must be necessary. There are things you are crying about today. It's because you haven't prayed. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. There are things you are crying about today. It's because you haven't prayed. When you pray, when you pray, God will intervene. Are you a mission of God? There are cycles that you are crying about. No, if I do business, I would not business, it won't come out. Hello? Pray. Pray. Take it to God. Take it to God. Take it to God. No, if I get a job, they will always get me for Take it to God. 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 Take it to Take it to God. in prayer. There are issues that are burdening your heart. There are issues that are troubling your heart. You take them to God in prayer. Are you a minister of God? Are you a minister of God? So prayer is very important. Don't take it as playing. Hallelujah. Don't take it as playing. Praying is not playing. Hallelujah. Praying is not playing. As we are here, 
There are serious transactions that are taking place. You may think you are just in church, but there are serious transactions taking place. Because we are at a holy altar of God. At the altar, there is an exchange that takes place. Humanity meeting with divinity. And an exchange take place. Transactions take place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are transactions that are taking place right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never be limited to pray by what you have or by what you don't have. Hallelujah. Many people I've always spoken about excuses. Many people are full of excuses. Some people have excuses. I don't have clothes. There was one person who he was coming to church. He would come today. He skips the next week. He comes the next one. He skips the next one. And then he comes the next one. I set him down. I said, what is happening? Why, I, why do you skip service? He says, no, I have a challenge. I have only one pair of shirts and one trousers. So if I come every week, people will see that that's what I have only. So I would rather be skipping so that people do not see that those are my only clothes. We have limited ourselves. We have limited ourselves by what we have and what we don't have. Your prayer life, child of God, should not be de defined by what you have or what you don't have. But your prayer life must be determined by the direction that God is taking you. I have told you before, God takes you to the end. He tells you, I am taking you to Canaan. I'm taking you to the promised land. And then he brings you back to Egypt. And he says, let us move together. In that journey, you ought to be praying. You ought to be sensitive in the spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't limit yourself by what you have or what you do not have. Hallelujah. Don't limit yourself by what you have or what you don't have. Some will say, I don't have time, I'm too busy. This work, this business, it keeps me busy. Hallelujah. But there are things which we have allowed to waste our time. But there are things which we have allowed to waste our time. There are things we have allowed to waste our time. Are you with me, child of God? But when it comes to the things of God, we are too busy. When it comes to the time of prayer, we are too busy. But yet there are things in our lives. It is a time, child of God, for you to take stock. For you to take stock. There is a wastage. There is a wastage. Check where there is wastage. Check where there is wasting. And begin to block that wasting. When you get into the place of prayer, wasting will be blocked. Because you begin to attract wisdom from above. The grace of God begins to kick in your life. 
As you begin to pray, are you a child of God? Get into the place of prayer and pray wholeheartedly. When you pray, do not go into the place of prayer half heartedly. Hallelujah. Don't get into the place of prayer with two minds. Don't come to church with two minds. Then you begin to say, ah, it's too hot, can't prophet finish the service. Hello? Come to church wholeheartedly. And say, whether it burns or whether it rains, I will listen to the message. I will take down my notes. And the message will bring change in my life. These words, their spirit, and their life, May they bring a change in your life today. I say, may they bring a challenge in your life today. As you connect to God, as you connect with God in the place of prayer, you are connected to divine revelation. You begin to understand there are hidden things which you do not understand because you haven't gone into the place of prayer. Many people, they experience dreams, but they need a prophet to interpret their dreams. But if you pray enough, you will be able to receive that revelation of the meaning of the dream. When you come to prophet, it's just confirmation that comes. Because you are from the place of prayer. Are you a child of God? Spend time in the place of prayer. Spend time in the place of prayer. There are trials and there are temptations. But when you spend time in the place of prayer, you will be able to overcome temptation. You receive divine enablement. Divine enablement. In the place of prayer, that is why I was asking, are you going to remember all this? If, if you are not writing down. In the place of prayer, you receive divine enablement. There are things which on your own, they will be too much. There will be a burden on you. But as you go in the place of prayer, as you, as you connect to God, as you connect with God, you receive divine enablement. There are things that on your own you cannot make it. But with God, all things are possible. When you go into the place of prayer, you are surrendering your limitations. Man is limited. Man is limited. Man is limited. Man is limited. Are you the child of God? Man is limited. No matter, you may be prophet, you may be apostle, you may be bishop, you may be archbishop. Man is limited. Are you the child of God? So everyone needs God. Where do you get God? By connecting in the place of prayer. By connecting in the place of prayer. As you connect in the place of prayer, then, then you receive divine enablement. Your limitations are no longer necessary. Your limitations no longer matter because you have the enablement of God. The Bible says the prophet told the king he says it's about to rain. Send all your horses. Run home. It's about to rain. Hallelujah. It's about to rain. 
and the prophet gathered his clothes and he ran ahead of the horses he ran ahead of the horses are you the child of God? Yeah, when you have divine enablement, can only divine enablement, there are things that with men it is impossible. But with God it becomes possible. Say it, I have divine enablement. I have divine enablement. I have divine enablement. What is impossible with men is possible with my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is impossible with men is possible with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. A woman came in this place from the UK. A woman came in this place. A woman came in this place from the UK. And the doctors had removed her womb. So they told her they had removed her womb. But she had no children. When she came to this place, says Prophet, I have a challenge. This is a bishop's wife. This is a bishop's wife. I have a challenge. I don't have children. I've been married many years. And had no issue. And I got sick and they removed my womb. I said, we serve God of impossibility. I went into the place of prayer. And I said to her, you come to church on Sunday. When she came to the service. God had already given me answer because I had gone to the secret place of prayer. I had gone to the place of prayer. There are things when sometimes you are not supposed to be going forward. The Bible says God sent his prophet Isaiah. He says go to Hezekiah and tell him put your house in order because your time is up your time is up hallelujah Hezekiah turns to the wall and he begins to pray and God changed his mind prayer will allow God to change his mind concerning certain things. Are you the child of God? Are you the child of God? God can change his mind when you pray earnestly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Hallelujah. Mm. The effectual fervent prayer mm. of a righteous man availeth much. Mm. In this season, mm. may your prayer availeth much. Mm. May your prayer availeth much. Mm. Oh, I don't think you are hearing me. Maybe this is a message for Botswana. Because I've been invited to Botswana from 25 to 30 October. Hallelujah. So maybe this is a message for Botswana. Maybe it's not yours. Because the way you are receiving. Prayer will connect you to divine blessing. I will be sure of God. Say I receive divine blessing. Right. Say the blessing of Abraham is my portion. I am an heir of the inheritance of Abraham. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will begin to enjoy even divine health as you spend time in the place of prayer. 
child of God, as you begin to pray and you begin to receive solution, you begin to receive guidance, you will have peace of mind. You have peace of mind. The reason why many people are not achieving today is because they lack peace of mind. But that peace of mind, when you go into the place of prayer, you are going to be able to receive. Because it is a divine blessing. It is divine provision from the throne room of God. Are you a teacher of God? It is available for everyone who goes. It is available for everyone who goes and asks. Ask and it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and overflowing. Shall God give to you? And shall men give to you? Are you a child of God? Men will favor you. Women will favor you. Young and old will favor you. Receive divine blessing in the name of Jesus. 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 When you have the revelation, you will no longer limit yourself. You will no longer limit yourself. Are you with me, child of God? Because you will know you have divine enablement. Today I want you to pray. Shake off any doubt. Shake off any limitations. And say, Lord, clothe me. Enable me. I want divine enablement. Clothe me, Lord, with your power. Clothe me, Lord, with your grace. Clothe me, Lord, with your anointing as you leave this place. May your life never be the same again. May your life never be the same again.